Sex, Romance and the Glory of God by C.J. Mahaney is, as the subtitle says, what every Christian husband needs to know. One of the plugs on the back cover says, Men, if you're looking for a book that will give you a few easy tips for spicing up your sex life, look somewhere else. This book invites you instead to completely revolutionise your romantic relationship with your wife. It calls all of us to a more profound and deeply satisfying kind of countercultural sex than most of us have ever experienced. In the first chapter, Mahaney says, we need instruction on sexuality. If marriage is immensely important to God, and it is, and if sex is a marvellous gift from God to marriage couple, married couples, which it is, it's entirely appropriate for God to tell us in scripture how to understand and enjoy it. In fact, how could God leave us, his most beloved creatures, on our own when it comes to something as powerful and universal as sexuality? Would he give us such a gift without also giving us guidance? Where is a Christian couple supposed to look for a model of God glorifying sexuality? If not to scripture, where? To Hollywood? Pop culture? Pornography? We must not, cannot take our sexual cues from the sinful impulses of ourselves or others. And we don't have to. God has not left us in the dark. Scripture illuminates the path of marital intimacy. The Song of Solomon shines brightly, showing us the way to the best sex we can possibly experience. Guidance on sex from the God who made us, from he who established marriage as an institution and came up with the whole fantastic idea of sex. Now that is guidance we ought to receive eagerly. The purpose of the book is to lead us back into God's ideal of joyful, unashamed, indulgent, loving sexuality in the context of marriage. If your marriage is lacking in the passion department, God, ever loving, ever merciful, is eager to unfold for you and your wife new levels of intimate joy and satisfaction. If that area of your marriage is already cooking along quite nicely, don't think for a minute that you've arrived. No matter how romantic you and your wife are, there is more, much more. But if um, we discuss sex without first answering the critical question, what is the purpose of my marriage? It would only encourage our sinful tendency to relate to our wives selfishly rather than serving them for the glory of God. You see, sex is never supposed to be treated as simply a means of personal fulfilment. Sex is derived from marriage. It's intended to serve marriage and never to be separated from marriage. It's about man and wife in loving, complementary, erotic relationship. It is this kind of sex taking place within marriage and informed by a biblical understanding of sex and marriage that brings maximum joy to the couple and genuine glory to God. In Ephesians 5, the most significant and remarkable passage of scripture about marriage, Paul quotes Genesis 2.24. It says, Marriage between a man and a woman is meant to reflect the relationship between Christ and the church. Now, that relationship between Christ and the church is certainly profound and amazing. Christ came to earth as a man, lived a perfect life, and died on the cross for our sins, taking the punishment we so richly deserved. He is now in heaven, interceding for us, and will one day return to take us as his own. In the meantime, the church depends on him, serves him, and seeks to glorify him in all of life. In Ephesians 5, Paul is saying, in effect, guess what? Your marriage is kind of like that. So although this truth about your marriage is something you can understand, it still ought to be profoundly mysterious and amazing. 
for it makes your marriage as holy a human relationship as one can imagine. Mahaney goes on to say, at one time I did not see my marriage as profound, mysterious or amazing. In my ignorance, I, I saw Carolyn and myself simply as two married people who love God and one another. I had not yet grasped the bigger picture that God had revealed to Paul. By God's grace and power, marriage can reflect in some real yet imperfect way the relationship between Christ and the church. There are many profound implications to this truth. To really understand it is to find your entire marriage beginning to change in rich and wonderful ways, including in the bedroom. Mahaney then goes on to unpack very helpful and very practical chapters on learning, leading and loving, how to make it all happen, the language of romance, and the gift of marital intimacy. There is even a bonus chapter for spouses from Mahaney's wife, Carolyn. At only 127 pages, this is an easy read and solidly connects to the current 1 Corinthians series at HTK. Available from Kurong, friends, this is simply one of the best ways to spend seven bucks. Highly recommended.